In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to use a blur effect as part of a lower third. We'd like to show you an example of this technique, and then we'll show you how to create it yourself. First thing I'm going to do is take my video, drop it on track number one in the default stacking order. And then I want to move about where I want the blur, my lower third, to start showing up. And here if I look at my time code, below the preview screen, I'm about at 6 seconds and 17 frames. Now here's where I want the blur to start. I'm going to take the blur effect and apply it to this track. So I can press the F4 function key or click on the icon on the left for my effect room. That will take me to all my effects. What I'd like to do is simplify the process here. I'm going to click in my search area here and type the word blur and it will give me whatever blur effects I have in my copy of PowerDirector. I'm going to take the one on the left and drag it down and drop it right on top of my video. Now unfortunately it has blurred the entire video but we can change that. So I'm going to click on the Effect button above the timeline that will let me modify the effect. You notice I have a default degree of 5 and a mask type of box. I like that. We're going to change the mask though. I'll click on the Mask button that applies to the blur and now we have a box that shows up. It has some bounding areas that we can control and we can change the size of it both horizontally and vertically. Let's settle for something about like this. When you're happy with the shape of the blur, simply click on the OK button in the lower right. Now I have my blur, but I want to keyframe it. So I'm going to click on the keyframe button below the blur and control the keyframing of it. Now these two time indicators are linked together. If I move one, the other moves. Let's assume that we're going to say back up just a little bit and I want to set my blur degree to zero. So it will start out with no blur at all. Then we'll move back in to about where we were before. So if I look at the first keyframe, I click on it, I'm six seconds and one frame. Let's say we're going to give it about uh, two seconds to go in, so I can click on my time indicator and change that from six to eight and press enter and it moves my playhead over. I'll set another keyframe by clicking a diamond and then I'm, go I'm going to change the blur degree to however blurry I want it. That looks adequate there. And so how long do I want it to stay blurred? About for the duration of my title. So let's see my title, let's assume it's going to be three seconds long. I'll just type in 12 in the time code below the preview screen, press enter again. That will give me a precise time. I'll click another keyframe and it will stay blurry then. And let's give it maybe another second to unblur. I'll hit 13 here, press enter. And now I'll change that time frame down to zero. So if we back up a bit and just watch what we've done so far, I'm going to minimize this a bit. We'll, we'll do our play. We have the blurry box that will come in and be blurred for about three seconds and then quickly fade out. And then it's gone. So it's serving its purpose. So what I want to do is I want to put a title. Now I'm going to click on the diamond to position my keyframe when the blur is solid. So I can actually close my keyframe settings now. And I'm going to go to my title room. I'll take my generic default title and drag it down to a higher numbered track. We'll double click on it. And then we'll edit it. I'll pause the video while I change the content of this particular title and the typeface. So I've changed the typeface. I'm going to move it and drag it in front of the blur. I think I also want to change a little bit on the spacing between the letters. Now we have default numbers here that we can use or you can type in one of your own. Let me 
settle for a 5 here and then we'll simply center it on the screen. Now we see the pink line indicating it's centered left to right. So now I have this. The other thing I want to do is I want to control the animation coming in. If I look at my animation effect, that's the darker bluish green on the left side. It looks like the animation goes in about a second and nine frames. Let's, let's have it go in a little slower. Let's go for a full two seconds. So two seconds it will animate in. So I click on my animation tab on the left side and I'm going to check my in animation subcategory. I'll click the triangle and let's move down to uh, conjure down. And that looks pretty good. I'll click on OK. So now I have my animation coming in when I have my blur background for my lower third and it should come in and be there and then everything should disappear within a few seconds. Let's play this segment and see what it looks like. The blur comes in, the text comes in, and then they both will disappear. Now you can change the timing to fit whatever you like in terms of how they come in and how they go out, but that's an example of using this technique to make a lower third using a blur in CyberLink PowerDirector.